In this video, I will demonstrate how to utilize Process Runner's BAPI technology in order to automate the upload of data from an Excel spreadsheet into SAP. The particular BAPI I'm going to focus on for this video is Profit Center Group Create, which is a nice alternative to running the transaction KCH2 in our transaction technology. I'm going to go ahead and bring up Process Runner, which I minimize on my desktop. From here, I click on New. Now I'm taken to our new process page from which I can select the appropriate technology. BAPI has already been highlighted. I can search for the BAPI typing in the description or the BAPI name. In this case, I'm just going to type an asterisk and I'll put in Profit Center Group. And then here I'm looking for the Profit Center Group Create. I'm going to highlight this. Now I can choose to change the default file name with the new name or I can save it as the original name. If I click on this documentation button, from here I'm prompted to log into the appropriate SAP system. And now I'm given information about the BAPI that explains what fields are necessary to send to SAP as well as which fields would be downloaded from SAP. Go ahead and close out of this. I just click OK. Again, prompted to log into SAP. And from here, I'm taken to the Mapper tab. I want to link an external Excel spreadsheet to this process file. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the iBook. The iBook is just an internal instance of Excel. If I wanted to, I could fill in data in the iBook by just clicking this tab, filling in the data, and then going back to the Mapper tab. But since I already have created an Excel spreadsheet with my data, I'm just going to go to the Home tab. From here, I'll select Use External Excel File. Now I'm going to pull up this Excel sheet, which I'd saved on my desktop to make it easy to find. Go ahead and click Open here. And I go back to the Mapper tab. And it'll refresh in just a minute. And there you can see that I now have my Excel, my external Excel spreadsheet linked to this process file. Now from here, I'm going to do my mapping. So I'm going to take the controlling area. I do need at least one of these fields to submit data to SAP for the BAPI to return the values that I'm interested in. So I'm going to map over column A. And then you'll notice that the mapping type switches from Excel to SAP. And I'm just going to leave the top node uh, blank. I'm not interested in that. Now, if I wanted to download any data from SAP, I just go to this Download tab, and from here, I could select the appropriate fields. I would just select it, and then I could go to the Fast Map feature, and then I could go from SAP to Excel. It's as simple as that. But in this case, uh, my desire is to just create a new group, as well as to update or as well as to fill in the information on the description of the new group in the appropriate field. So I do not need to map anything from SAP to Excel. So I actually just want to leave these blank. So I'm going to go ahead now and just uh, switch this back to none. Not interested in obtaining any data from SAP for this uh, particular run of the BAPI. And then here we have the upload download from SAP. From, from this tab, I may find fields which could be either uploaded or downloaded from SAP and then I could map them accordingly as needed. So I could select from Excel to SAP or from SAP to Excel. Just go ahead and click back on None. Now you notice I did leave out the higher level group uh, column B and that's because my SAP system has already, this is already coded into my SAP system and is not required so I just don't even need to map this particular column. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and go back to the Home tab, and I'm just going to fill in a start row and an end row. I actually have less than 38 rows of data, but Process Runner uh, will recognize when the data stops and will stop processing. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click Run, and again, logging into the appropriate SAP system. I could choose that from here, a, a different system, or I could just go with the one that I've already selected. Click OK. 
And now you can see that the call to SAP was successful. I have loaded uh, the, the new group as well as the description of the new group into SAP utilizing process runners BAPI technology.